Google My Business is basically a business listing designed for local service businesses like realtors, plumbers, electricians, etc. By creating a Google My Business profile, you will show up on Google Maps and you can collect reviews and you can have information about your business. I'm gonna walk you through a simple formula in this video of how to actually set this up correctly. The first thing I'm asked all the time is what should I name my Google My Business profile? Well, I have a really simple formula for you. If you're a solo agent, it should be your name and then it should be your area realtor, Eric Preston dash Vancouver real estate agent. For example, if you have a team, you can look at Bricks here, Bricks real estate team dash Calgary real estate agents and realtors. The reason is it's clear and it's searchable because a lot of people will search Calgary real estate agent or Calgary realtor and you literally have that in your Google My Business name. So there's a higher likelihood that you're gonna pop up. Now that you have your name, here's a checklist you can go through of all the things you need to fill out in your profile. And if you want a copy of this checklist, leave checklist down in the comments and I'll be sure to get you one. So I'm just gonna read from this checklist here. The first thing is your profile photo. Upload a profile photo of yourself, make it personal. You can also upload a logo. There's an option to do that in there. There's also a cover photo. You can do that in there as well. Google's a little weird how they display these photos in your profile. Sometimes they don't display the right photo. Sometimes a client will upload a photo with a review and they'll display that, but upload those photos, see how it looks and delete and change as needed. Second thing is your name, which we already talked about. Third is your address, which for most people is gonna be your brokerage address. Unless your brokerage is way outside your service area, I would recommend doing something like your personal address. The big thing you need to understand with the address is Google's gonna send you a piece of mail with a little code on it. That's how they verify that you actually are at that address. Next is your hours. Don't be afraid to block off a certain day. You're a real estate agent. You don't work 24 seven, nobody does. Put in real hours that you actually work. Next is your website. So you're actually gonna put in your website address. That's an obvious one. But on top of that, there's an appointment section. This is where you're gonna put in a Calendly link. If you don't have Calendly, get it. It's where you can connect it to your Google Calendar or whatever calendar you use. If people can book appointments straight on your calendar. They can add a Zoom link in there automatically. That's a whole other video on how to set that up, but definitely give people an option to book a buyer or seller consultation with you. Then you're going to have your description. Now you're going to put specific keywords in there that I'm going to get to later. This is where you're going to describe what you do, where you work, who you service, all that kind of fun stuff. Then you're going to have service options. I would just put online appointments for this. It's really easy. You typically will meet people first online. If you're not doing that, it's a good strategy. You never want to meet people for the first time at an open house or something. Then you're going to put your service area. So this is literally obviously the area that you actually service. Products is an area where you can, a lot of real estate agents use this for listings. So go ahead and use products for your listings. That's where you can upload listings when you have them just listed, sold, whatever. That's what you can use products for. The last thing is your social media link. So put in your social media profiles. They'll show really nicely at the very bottom of your profile. So now the most important thing, reviews. Reviews are the cornerstone of your Google My Business profile. What you want to happen when people Google your name, you want them to see five yellow stars and you want those to be in abundance so that it really brings down their wall about you. Bricks Real Estate, as I showed you, they have over 200 five-star reviews. When people Google them and they see that, they immediately have a bit of trust, right? So this is what I like to say to people. Think about the last Amazon product you bought and how many reviews you read when you bought it. Now think about how many reviews people are gonna read when they're buying the biggest thing they've ever bought in their life and the person that's gonna help them with that transaction. They're gonna read your reviews. They're super important to collect reviews, reply to reviews. And so with that, it's really important to learn how to actually ask reviews. The key here is to make it really easy for them to leave a review. So there's two things to understand with this. First is asking for the review. Always acknowledge their time. You wanna say something along the lines of, hey John, I know you're super busy, but reviews are the cornerstone of our business. I would really love if you could talk a little bit about your experience working together. It would mean the world to me. Here's the link. So provide them with the actual link on Google My Business. You can get this link in your Google My Business profile by clicking the ask for reviews button. That'll give you a short link. So when they click it, it'll pop up and all they can do is leave a review. Make it really easy for them to do that. And then ask what you want. The more detailed the review, the better, because people, when they're looking at reviews, they generally like to read the long ones because they're actually full of the kind of meatiness in there. Like you need to collect some tangible information and not just be like, Eric was excellent. Like you want a lot more than that. And if they don't give a lot of detail in the review, it's okay for you to add a little detail with your reply. Hey John, thanks so much for leaving us the recommendation. Say that John said, Eric was excellent and amazing. Um, it was really fun helping you buy a home in White Rock. You guys were so excited and that makes me happy. Google prefers businesses that are one active, but also replying and engaging with people is super important. The next step is to actually post to your Google My Business profile. So yes, in the product section, that's where you can put your listings. So if you have open houses or whatever, you can put those in the product section. Posts are where you're gonna put like, you know, updates, maybe client experiences, maybe like tips and tricks, things like that. Maybe you have events, other things like it. You can also put listings in your posts as well. Most people, I find they do them in the products. It doesn't really matter that much. It's not like other social media. You don't need to be all over it every single day. 
it's something you want to do like a couple times a month to just share with people that you're active. So I would recommend posting to Google My Business once or twice a month. That's really all you need to do. Google prefers active profiles, so it's important you just stay on top of this once in a while. Now, another important factor is Google is all about SEO or search engine optimization. So it's important you get the right keywords in your profile. So when we're talking about your description, you wanna make sure you understand your main keywords, okay? So the main keywords, I'm just gonna give them to you, is your city, real estate agent, your city, realtor, homes for sale in your city, condos, apartments, whatever for sale in your city, properties for sale in your city. Those are your main keywords as people looking for a realtor or looking for properties, okay? So make sure you kind of loop those throughout your description. So your description is where you're gonna describe basically what you do. So what's up everybody? My name is Eric Preston. I'm a local realtor here in Vancouver. I generally service the downtown condo market. So if you're looking for condos for sale in Vancouver, I'm your local real estate agent. I've been ranked whatever, number one and whatever. So that's what you use your description for. If that's a helpful tool for you, don't get too obsessive about it. You're not gonna stuff the right amount of keywords in there and all of a sudden rank number one. That's not how it works. It's a combination of all these things and it's just increasing your odds of getting in that search once in a while. And that's it. If you nail all of these points, you will have a thriving Google My Business and you will be more likely to show up in the search and you'll be well represented. What you're really trying to do here is when people Google you, they see something really positive. They see you're active. They see you have a lot of reviews. They see you represent yourself well. That's what this is all about. So comment checklist if you want that checklist and I'll make sure you get a copy and make sure you guys subscribe because we're on a goal to put out three videos every single week this year with a ton of value for you. So hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one.